we're campaigning today, first day of industrial action for our pay rise. We were offered 2.5% when inflation has been the highest it's been in many years. 2.5%! What a total disgrace when inflation is running at 8.2%! We believe 2.5, not enough for what actually what is work. That's what it is. An absolute joke. Uh, I, I, should be, I should be in school right now, but I feel uh, for the people around us in our area and everywhere else, uh, we deserve more. Exxon Mobil, who run the, the refinery here, have announced a £17 billion profit. One of them said they had so much money they didn't know what to do with it. We are being made to pay for a crisis that wasn't of our making. Every time we come up with a pay demand, what we're told is that there is no money, we've just gone through COVID. This dispute here shows there is money. We've got most of the FCCOP employees out today. Trent, Veolia and Altrad. During the pandemic, we had to work a four on four off shift pattern. Uh, we were told in order to keep the, to keep the place going. We were, at the time, we were safe and critical um, workers. During that time, they had to use their holidays for isolating and they didn't get any sick pay, apart from 96 pounds statutory sick pay. That's all they have to live on. We've been campaigning for sick pay for a number of years now. Why should we suffer? You know, we're just the same as um, the, the other contractors and workers in there. It's discrimination going on because there's Exxon Mobile employees. Quite rightly get full sick pay. All the management team get full sick pay. The only ones who don't get it is the contractors here. We want sick pay for all contractors. Yeah. Those under the FCCOP, those under the Navy. That's the plan here. Yeah. We're, to try we're... and raise the bar. To be last week told that we're third party contractors, you know, we don't know where we stand with that, so are we third party contractors or safety critical workers? A lot of these loyal union members and employees have worked in that refinery for 20, 30, 40 years and to be called a third party contractor, they took it to be a third class citizen and that's the way they feel they're being treated. That is why a lot of people are here today as well because to support us because that has, yeah, that has got a few people's backs up. We've had other contractors in the refinery that aren't under the FCCOP come out and show their support by taking a day's holiday to stand with us. I can see some guys here from the Nike agreement. Let's give them a round of applause for turning up. We are proud to stand in solidarity with these striking workers at Fawley. We know about environmental justice, but there's also social justice to think about, and we will stand with any strikers fighting for justice. Those guys are here um, in support of us. Um, I've been speaking to a few of them, yeah, so, yeah, it's brilliant, yeah. Safe Landing is all about securing a sustainable future for workers in the aviation sector. We're really worried about what the impact of the climate crisis is going to have. Every time there's a, glo a big global event, uh, aviation workers are the first ones to be, be let go, made redundant, and you know we, we see a reduced terms and conditions, fire and rehire policies. We're going to need to fly less in the future, um, and workers should be involved in thinking about what the future of the sector is going to be. So that includes everything from airports, aircraft, airlines, but also where the fuel's coming from. The Foley refinery produces about one-fifth of all jet fuel that's used in the UK. So if we don't understand how the climate crisis is going to affect the industry and the workers right now, then ultimately it's the long-term careers of these employees that are going to be most at risk. So that's why we're here. To show solidarity with their strike actions, you know, whether it's over the climate crisis or whether it's over things like pay. Southampton historically was a, a hugely industrial city. I mean, we had big employees, we had a shipyard, we had a Ford um, plant, we had Pirelli cables there. They're all now gone. Those jobs have been replaced by what are essentially low-paid, minimum-wage jobs. So it's down to us as trade unions to get them organised and get them involved in campaigns like this that we pay rises that are going to support their, their living for them and their families. What we're looking for is justified and we're going to get more than two and a half. That's for sure. They've got to start levelling up. Move on. Start, go.